Hi, my name is Mark Lichtenwalter. I'm reading from uh, 95 Thesis by Ogden Kraut. Um, true Principles. Beware lest any man spoil you through vain deceit after the traditions of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Search the scriptures. Search the revelations which we publish and ask your Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, Jesus Christ, to manifest the truth of it unto you. And if you do it with an eye single to the glory of, of God, nothing doubting, He will answer you by the power of His Holy Spirit. You will then know for yourselves and not for another. You will not then be dependent on man for the knowledge of God. Nor will there be any room for speculation, no. For when men receive their instruction from him that made them, they know how he will save them. Teachings of the Prophet Joseph Smith, page 11 and 12. Men may preach and practice everything except for those things which God commands us to do and will be damned at last. We may tithe mint and rue and all manner of herbs and still not obey the commandments of God. The object with me is to obey and teach others to obey God in just what he tells us to do. It mattereth not whether the principle is popular or unpopular. I will always maintain a true principle, even if I stand alone in it. Joseph Smith, Doctrinal History of the Church, Volume 6, page 223. Who will, become the, who will become gods? Those who are valiant and inspired with the true independence of heaven, who will go forth boldly in the service of their God, leaving others to do as they please. Determined to do right, though all mankind besides them take an opposite course. Will this apply to any of you? Your own hearts can answer. Brigham Young, Journal of Discourses, Volume 1, page 312. Today, brethren, keep your eye on the president of this church. If he tells you to do anything and it is wrong and you do it, the Lord will bless you for it. This was given by Heber J. Grant and also by Harold B. Lee, Enzyme, October 1972. Number three, our file leader. For there is one God, one mediator, mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. First Timothy chapter two, verse five. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. John Chapter 14, verse 6. And we talk of Christ. We rejoice in Christ. We preach of Christ. We prophesy of Christ. And we write according to our prophecies that our children may know to what source they may look for a remission of their sins. 2 Nephi, chapter 25, verse 26. When the children of Israel were chosen with Moses at their head, they were to be a peculiar people, among whom God should place his name. Their motto was, The Lord is our lawgiver. The Lord is our judge. The Lord is our king. And he shall have reign over us. While in this state they might truly say, Happy is the people, 
whose God is the Lord. Joseph Smith, Teachings of the Prophet Joseph Smith, page 252. But the greatest and most important of all requirements of our Father in Heaven and of His Son Jesus Christ is to his, or is to his brethren or disciples to believe in Jesus Christ, confess Him, seek Him, seek to Him, cling to Him, make friends with Him, take a course to open and keep open the communications of your elder brother, our file leader, our Savior. Brigham Young, Journal of Discourses, Volume 8, page 339. 339. But today the church leaders say, with warnings and safeguards such as the Lord provides, need anyone be deceived. If we follow the president of the church, we need never go astray. Church News, August 17, 1974, page 16. Number four, infallibility. For there is not a just man upon the earth that doeth good and sinneth not. 1 John chapter 1, verse 8, and also Proverbs chapter 20, verses 9, and, um, well, yeah, chapters, chapter 20, verse 9. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, Prophesy against the prophets of Israel that, that prophesy and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God. Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the desert. Ezekiel chapter 13 Verses 1 through 4. Thus saith the Lord concerning the prophets that make my people err, that bite with their teeth and cry peace, and he that putteth not unto their mouths. They even prepare war against him. Therefore, night shall be unto you, that ye shall not have a vision, and it shall be dark unto you that ye shall not divine. The sun shall go down over the prophets, and, they, and the day shall be dark over them. Then shall the seers be ashamed, and the diviners confounded. Yea, they shall all cover their lips, for there is no answer of God. Micah, chapter 3, verses 5 through 7. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And many false prophets shall arise and deceive many. Matthew chapter 24, verses 3, 4, 5, and 11. And they who are not apostles and prophets shall be known. And even the bishop, who is a judge and his counselors, if they are not faithful in their stewardships, shall be condemned. And others shall be planted in their stead. Doctrine and Covenants, section 64. 39 and 40, see also DNC 85, 7 through 11, and also DNC section 101, 44 through 54. But today the church teaches that the saints are now told that they should follow the man whom they sustain as prophet, seer, and revelators, for they will lead no one astray. Church News, March 17th. 1973. Number five, trust not in the arm of flesh. Trust ye not in, the ar ar in a friend. Put ye not confidence in a guide. Micah chapter seven, verse five. 
Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that putteth, that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from the Lord. Jeremiah 17, verse 5. I will not put my trust in the arm of flesh, for I know that cursed is he that putteth his trust in the arm of flesh. 2 Nephi chapter 4, verse 34. The weak things of the world shall, shall come forth and break down the mighty and strong ones, that man should not counsel his fellow man, neither trust in the arm of flesh. DNC section 1, verse 19. Can I save you? No, I cannot. I can only advise a righteous course and encourage and aid in walking therein. It then remains for them to take the course which I advise, and I always advise people to adopt that policy which Joseph taught and advocated, and which now Brother Brigham now lays before us from day to day. This is what will save you, and you cannot be saved upon any other principle. I have power to save myself, and if I do not save myself, who will save me? All have that privilege, and not can save us, but obedience to the commandments of God. Heber C. Kimball, Journal of Discourses, Volume 3, page 269. How often has it been taught that if you depend entirely upon the voice, judgment, and sagacity of those appointed to lead you, and neglect to enjoy the Spirit for yourselves, how easily you may be led into error and finally cast off to the left hand. Brigham Young, Journal of Discourses, Volume 8, page, or, uh, verse 59, or page 59, I'm sorry. But today in the church, members are taught that it behooves us 